Well, hello everybody. How are you? How are you? Yes, you are watching Inside Fallon. And my name is Wayne. And once again, I am here at the Maurice M. Bine Free Public Library. Why? Because they are having another artist opening reception today. And I want to go inside and cover it. I think this person's going there too. So come on, let's go inside and see what it's all about. Art in Fallon lives on. Okay, this looks like the show that's happening today. It's in the Pine Gallery. We're in the library. It's on the second floor. And we're going to go upstairs and see what this is all about tonight. It's the opening reception. So let's go upstairs and see what's happening. Don't go. All right, folks, as you know, one of the things I love to do, and it's not a chance all the time, is to actually speak with the artist. And I think I got the guy right here. Hi, what's your name? Introduce yourself. How are you? Uh, my name is Vito Tassambrazas. And this is your show today, right? Yes, yes it is. Well, before we get into a little bit of everything on the wall, have you had an opportunity to show off your work before? Yes, it's actually been here uh, six years ago. I may have been here for that, I'm not sure. Yes, I, I think I was, now that I think about yeah. it. All right, well, there's an overall theme to the photographs that we have, and you're a photographer. And you were telling me that this is from a trip to India that you took. Yeah, it's actually from three or four trips uh, to India uh, between 2013 and 2015. All right, and I asked you to maybe pick one out that we could talk about. And this is one of the ones that you were telling me about. Why don't you just, nice and well, tell me about what we're looking at. Well, this is a, a barber shop that was set up in uh, Cattle Fair in Rajasthan. And uh, that's the place where people bring uh, the cattle for sale and trade. Now, and folks, just to give you an idea, is the face that we see is actually a mirror. And the gentleman that we're looking at is, is the barber. And, he, and I think we could see some of his tools over there. But behind him, we have all different kinds of animals, don't we? Yes, we do. Uh, camels, cows. Camels. I love camels. I'm going to talk about camels in a second. This is just something that you find as you were just traveling around. How, how are you getting around? Uh, buses, trains. Buses, and trains, and then you would stop every once in a while to see something. Yeah, I stop. I stop. I try to stop uh, for as often as you can. Longer, longer times, like okay. a couple of days. Now, this, folks, this is one of them. We're going to take a walk to another picture. So stay with me. Don't go away. All right, we uh, selected another photograph, and nice and loud. What do we got here? What am I looking at? Well, this is uh, the picture that was taken early morning in the streets of Vrindavan. Uh, that's the place where the widows uh, go and, and they live. To this the is a separate area end. for widows to live? Yes. Is that is common? Whole, it's the whole town, basically. The, the whole town is that way, really? Uh, with the multiple ashrams where widows' widows live and they chant all day. Did you, is that a, a common thing for India, where that happens a lot? Have you noticed that, by the way? Not not too much, but this particular no. area is. Yeah, this, this is the town of Vrindavan, that's what it's really known for. And I, just a casual little mention that when I first met you a little while ago, you were telling me that sometimes India is known for its color. You have all black and white here, and I think that is such a strong impact with the photographs that I've been seeing, that black and white works so strong. Do you, your thoughts about that? Well, my main idea of, of black and white pictures is, uh, I would say, once you subtract that, those colors from uh, the picture, you're kind of left more with the essence of the picture itself. You know, I totally and, understand and, that, And yes. that gives you a little bit different perspective. Great. Why don't we do this, folks? We have one more that we're going to chat with. I'm going to go there right now. All right, we've been walking around and we've been highlighting a few, and that, even that's tough to decide because they're all so amazing. But again, we're here in India, and we're looking at some incredible black and white faces and images and places. Tell me about the one here. This looks so dramatic. Nice uh, and loud. The picture was taken in the island of Bedwarka, off the coast of uh, Gujarat by the Arabian Sea. So I got off the boat and the man was sitting on the pier. In other words, this was not a setup. You just got off the boat, and he was just right there. Yes. Is was. that like a fishing community? Do you think that's sort of like what he was involved with at one point? 
in but the, you didn't talk to him. I know that. But yes, in the in the past, he, he, he was a fisherman. He was a fisherman, and he's sitting yeah. on his little cart there. That's such a dramatic. That says so much. Yeah, he's waiting for the people uh, and and the goods to be taken back on. Uh, Is he really? Yes. Okay, walk with me over here, folks. We can't talk about India without talking about camels. I don't know why I said that, but that's true. All right, our last one. What's this? This is a, a family of nomads that they brought the camels to the camels. Oh, it's a here. family of nomads. So uh, they just this is like one of their stops in a sense, and you happen to be there at that time that th this was going on. They basically going from one fair to another fair with a bunch of camels, and that's the way of living. They, Did you they, enjoy your trips? I know it's a silly question, but this must have been a, quite an adventure for you. Well, that's what I'm. Been that's what you like for. to do, right? That's what I'm <laughs> living for. How do you feel about having you work here at the, the uh, Pine Gallery? Um, excited. Good, good answer. That's a good answer. <laughs> excited. <laughs> Do you know how long it's going to run until? It's going to be till the end of June. Until about the end June of June. June 30th, yeah. Suppose there should be some people that want to get in touch with you. Is there a way of maybe doing that, reaching out to you? Yes, they can reach me by email. Okay, nice and slowly. What is it? Vitasa at gmail.com. Spell that. V-I-T-A-S-A at gmail.com. Very good. How does it feel having a guy with a cowboy hat talk to you? It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be to you too. Good luck with the opening reception today, and I'm sure we're going to have a lot of good feedback. I'll spread the word about what you're doing, and very nice to see you again. Thank you. All right, folks, we're just going to keep on walking around town, so everybody stay with me until we meet again. My name is Wayne Robbins. I'll see you next time inside Fairlawn.